Elvenkind, we are on the precipice of a brand new era. I've said that with a lot of characters, but to be fair, it has been true. Yes, we have carved ourselves out a new elven kingdom. Actually, speaking of that kingdom, somebody in the comments suggested um, instead of Mesopotamia Elf, which is clumsy. It's not bad, but it's clumsy. Uh, they said for rename it to Mesopotamia. Ah, yeah, okay, that one's, I think, slightly better. It's still quite clumsy, but it's an improvement. Not only did we carve ourselves out a kingdom after temporarily borrowing the kingdom of Nubia from our beautiful father, we have, of course, uh, done something far better than that. After, what, three generations now, I believe, going all the way back to uh, Elrong the First. His, uh, his grandson, Smeagelf, his grandson, Rathu Thati, our current character's father, we have accumulated all five elven bloodlines in one character. And not only that, of course, that's like, that's like fantastic, that's awesome, and definitely a long-term play that's finally paid off. Not only that, this kid has, has Fecund, is uh, an elf, Spark Prodigy, Erudite, Aphroditic, and Valkyrian. This kid has so much going for them. At the age of one, they're more skilled than your average human being. Which, of course, we look down on as elves. Just before I tidy up all the things in our domain, some people said that we probably should get back those other territories that we uh, kind of bunny hopped over here to get. So Mosul, of course, that we fabricated to climb on back when we were uh, the, the Queen of Nubia, the temporary Queen of Nubia, the Queen Regent of Nubia, and Luristan there as well to actually allow us to expand out. It's all splintered because we usurped his kingdom title, so there could be one or two holy wars in our favor here, and we could very quickly start... Damn, dare I even say it, maybe even quickly start working towards the Empire of Persia? Whoa. <laughs> that would be kind of nice as a five bloodline character to have something going for us, our own unique realm. Now, before I continue, I just want to mention very briefly that you may have noticed the beautiful new uh, flag here in Nubie Elf. Cassie, Oracle of Thessia, Rimworld designer extraordinaire, and uh, masterful Crusader Kings flag designer as well, apparently, has very kindly donated a beautiful new flag for the Kingdom of Nubia. Obviously, it was going to be Egypt, but we can't get Egypt because of bureaucracy and political nonsense. So there we are. They have the portal to represent the man who rebuilt the portal, whose, whose domain is, of course, that portal, uh, wherever it is these days, somewhere over here, right? Uh, Grand portal, there it is. So something very suitable of that. Thank you. That looks incredible. That really gives it a nice level of uniqueness. Maybe I should do that for every one of our elven kingdoms. Because this is a human symbol for the kingdom of Mesopotamia. Uh, of course, we're not. We're with the kingdom of Mesop Mesopotamia. Oh, dear. That is clumsy. <laughs> Ooh, now on the subject of other things that are very cool. Uh, Law from the comments pointed out that Elf uh, Moranis here. Elf Miramis. I don't know how you say it. Again, my um, Babylonian isn't really up to scratch. The five bloodline daughter that we're going to play as is apparently based on Semiramis. The daughter of Nimrod, the the, 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 the famous fella from all those stories a while ago. Uh, they've said that she's born of thunder and said to be one of the four ruling women of the world. Uh, of the time, the others being the rulers of Israel and Persia. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon are named after her. A great name for a unifier of the bloodlines. And you know what, Lorf? You're absolutely right. I think that couldn't have been a more appropriate name to be uh, one of the four women rulers of the world, right? When she is... I think most likely going to be our successor. Now, on the subject of successor, I mean, how old are we? 36. And if we're going to be playing her, her for 70 years, we're going to be playing for another 55 years minimum, right? As, as faces. This is just the beginning of a story. We've done a lot already with her, but of course, we're still just at the beginning. Uh, someone quite rightly pointed out, because Rathu Tharthi, the five-blooded child, has only been born with elf blood, his life expectancy is only 15 years. He is going to be an old man by the time we give power to him. He's going to be 67, which is incredibly old, right? Uh, bear in mind, again, he only gets that extra 15 years, so he'll only live to around, let's say, 90 at best. Uh, puts him in his uh, far past his, his middle age, so to speak. And I, I think our character would, would understand and very much sympathize with the fact that, that that's too old to take over a kingdom when there are other children that are going to be very young. So I actually think what might be the most likely candidate here is we'll marry uh, Elf Miramis to um, Elf Miramis? M M Miramis? Again, I'll figure out the pronunciation. I'll decide on what pronunciation I prefer. We'll marry her to Ratha Thathi, then they can have five bloodline children. Chances are that it'll actually be their children that inherit after 70 years, much as we've done pretty much throughout the entire playthrough. Now, someone else asked, is there a way to 
Um, get one of those spark crystals from elsewhere, because of course that's what we were lacking last time we did the ascension. Had a look through, couldn't find any. What I did notice is there is simply a buy artifacts button. This will show all valid artifacts that we can just straight up purchase. And some of these are very, very good. The Cup of Jamsheed. Enemy hostile schemes success chance down by 10%. Huge disease resistance. And that's the only thing that's already killed a few of our elves here. So we've got 3,100 gold in our pocket. We could go through and buy a few later on, but we'll, we'll have a hunt for that. I think hunting for the spark crystal on ascension becomes our top priority now that we have made our own queendom. And of course, converting and getting the culture going over here, right? I, I think that the right way to go about this is we land more family members, add on to that insane amount of renown that we're making, but uh, it, again, it sets them up for that kind of long-term play. It l allows them to define themselves. To be honest, I'm kind of at the point now where I'm thinking we start renaming all the kids no matter what. Can I float an idea here? We're going for Matriarch, right? Wouldn't it be quite appropriate if we just hold on? This is a horrible idea, so hear me out. We hold on to that 16 out of 9 holdings until, in fact, if we flip you over to Managed Domain, it takes up to 16 out of 11. It's not that bad. It's still obviously not ideal, but it's not terrible. And then we just wait for her to have another son. And then, uh, which we can, of course, flip with, with this one, which I've already done, flipped it over to a son here, so that we can land it a duchy. That would be, oh, man. And then we just land all of her children across the realm. To the noble lord, King... Sorry. To the noble lord, King Elendil of Syria. Oh my god. Right, this is when we were trying to entrance him, but I cancelled the scheme. Ah. Right, and he's inviting us to his feast. Um, I don't think I really want to do that, to be honest. Okay, maybe we'll say no. Yeah, no, no expense bed. Well, I mean, it, it's just a feast. We can not entrance him if we don't want to anymore. Ooh. Well, hold on a second. Let's have a look. Um, the colony to honor our alliance and join me in the third Syrian integer war. Yes, okay, we'll accept that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I can manage things from here, sure. Oh my god, we get the choice of either getting reckless or organizer. Organizer's really good, isn't it? Lower retreat losses, 25% movement speed. My god. Reckless is a little messy. I think we'll go with that one. 50% chance we're going to try to organize it. Please, come on. We didn't get it. You son of a bitch, we didn't get it. Ugh. 39 guests. Remember, we, we don't need to. We don't need to entrance anymore. We've got that alliance. That's all we need. Everything's good. We're just going to hang around. And we're just going to... Ah, oh, very good. Mayor Aranda and I have come to an agreement. Very nice. We're just going to sit here. I'm going to have a lovely feast for seven months. I believe it is considered somewhat rude to have your child at a feast. Phaleon. Phaleon is uh, a failure, unfortunately, because he is uh, only four bloodlines. Let's give him a name. And in fact, I will go through very diligently and rename all of the children with my enormous names list of 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 um, Mesopotamian elf names. The first child shall be known as Elfgamesh. Welcome, Elfgamesh. And you shall be landed, as is your uh, gift to you, my child, at the date of your birth. Um, what duchies have we got to give away here? This one? That one's fine, yeah. That one's that one's good. I think I think that one's fine anyway. Uh, maybe we want to keep that one because it's quite close to our capital. We'll give away this one then. So definitely don't want that. Boom. There you are. Fifteen out of eleven. That really hasn't helped to that much, has it? Or is this a? Why is this one not given away? Oh no, there we are. Just took it a second apparently. There you go. I've renamed all the children that I could. Uh, so we've still got a Wrath of Tharthi. We've got an Elftar. Ninevelf Parasite. That's pretty good. Oh, par 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 Parasite. God, I hate that house name. Uh, Elf Sonal Parasite. Very good. Duke Valorian. Obviously, I can't rename him because I've, I've landed him. Uh, Tabney Elftar. <laughs> I really don't roll off the tongue. Elf Nabatum. Very good. And then Elf uh, Miramis, of course, we, we we know and we're very familiar with. Are you coming home? Are you still you still partying with the, with your newborn child there? Fair enough. Honestly, live your life. What's going wrong with that man's face? Join me in the war for the despot of Serbia. Sure. Don't really want to lose that prestige. You can manage things from here. Thank you. What's going on with that man's eyes? Are you good? I know blind, but those are doors into the abyss. And there we are. You gain progress towards the regular trait, of course, faster, seeing as uh, yesterday, or day before yesterday, I suppose, we got that Dynasty Legacy that improves the, the speed of those perks. And there it is, the year-long feast. Was that worth it? No, but we did set the wheels in motion, and we had to pay for the consequences of our actions. Home, sweet home. You visited the capital of the Empire of Germania. I, you know, I don't believe we did. Well, two perks available, and then we'll be going on an expedition, I think, to try and find one of those spark crystals as soon as possible. Pedegidi. 
gives our wards additional skills and become your friends. Very good. Of course, we are going to be educating Elf Moramus uh, pretty much right away, actually, if you don't mind. This guy's become our vassal. Don't like that. Revoke title? Just, like, immediately revoke it? Will not accept. He's a criminal. He's an adulterer. Oh, well, that's just a free war we've effectively launched there then, isn't it? Can manage things from the expedition. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're all fine. Raise the troops. We're going to absolutely slaughter these people. Ooh. It's required you to drop your current legend. No. No. This guy wants us to... No, absolutely not. To, to endorse his legend over ours. Rubbish. Oh, we got him in the first battle. That was a nice war, wasn't it? Oh, good. More to my domain size. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. All right, never mind then. Um, give me all of that, please, fella. Thank you. Not that he has a choice, of course. We'll just leave him in there for the time being. Oh, bollocks. I'm supposed to be reducing my ram size. Now we're up to 18 out of 11. And here we are. The expedition is prepared. So, uh, if you drop me, I'm sure to crack. Give me a smile. I'll always uh, smile back. That's a mirror. I'm well aware. We're going to go all in on development this time. I mean, obviously, it's the only choice we've got. But what I mean by that is, of course, with all the buildings we've got in Baghdad by default, I think we should get some very, very powerful stuff from this. Um, no, it's a mirror again. It's the it's the same puzzle. I think he's brought us back to the same room a little bit confused. The Falcon and a Blade of the Captain. Prowess plus four. Number of knights plus one. Knight effecting this up by 10%. Whoa. Okay, we'll compare that to the hammer a bit close, cl closely uh, in a second. Did we get anything? Oh, we found everything. Really? Sasar is already... An Elrond Holy Site. Bloody hell. What are you talking about? That's insane. Duchy of Basra. Whoa. Uh, the question is, how long are we going to wait until... Oh, until I have to decide. Grand pardon, sure. Um, until I decide to... We can just vassalize these fellas. Oh my god, that's a duchy. That's a duchy too. That guy will not accept in exchange for an exemption. So you know what? We're just going to... No, stop. Sort out the round we've got. Okay, what I was about to say is I think we've waited too long now for that for that trial, so we're just going to have to grant this away to uh, anybody who is elf-like. Most all we can give away, because, of course, we're not probably going to get the Dutch of that anytime soon. Why can't I grant that? Should we list out to your court chaplain? Apparently, that should be automatic. So we'll we'll leave that and we'll see what happens, see if it does give it away. Well, Dutch is that. Yeah, see, I'm not going to do anything with this Dutch either, so I'll just give this one away too if I'm... That grant the start should be leased out to a court chaplain. What do you mean? Why? Because it comes with a it comes with a uh, religious title there. Oh, so apparently if we leave it, it should be granted automatically. We'll see what happens. What the hell is that? You are not texting your clan vassals. Oh, what is this? What is this? I've never seen this mechanic before. Tax collector and chance of collecting levies and gold from your clan vassals. What the hell do you mean? What is this? No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not. De I'm not dealing with this. Is it you? Is it you? Give me your titles. I'm taking those. Revoke titles. Yeah. I'll take those. He's, uh... He's hostile, so we're allowed to just grab that. You might accept 86% chance. Please don't go to war. Oh, you coward. God damn it. Didn't want to go to war just because it's a distraction, right? It's going to take a generation. I mean, to convert culturally and religiously, all of these counts is going to take forever, right? The tyranny. How dare you? There's no tyranny here. Right, so let's go ahead and take that off your hands. There's really no point offer offering them vassalage if they're then going to drag me into a war, right? We're not saving any time with that. Thank you. Uh, he's our rival, so we're just going to chuck him in the dungeon because that's the logical thing to do there as far as I'm concerned. Very good. Right, what else have we got here? I'll be taking your title too then, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Brilliant. Did I start fixing the realm size and now we are 19 out of 11? Very good. Do we still need tax collectors? I've thrown in some random people. We have currently two untaxed vassals. Who is that? I'm just, I just don't want to deal with this mechanic. It's too much to think about. I've never experienced this mechanic before. Yep, rally the troops. Don't mind if I do. I should have really moved them into his capital preemptively, shouldn't I? Fine. You know what? This is tidying up. We're expanding the borders far faster than I actually intended, but that's, that's okay. It's all right. We don't want to really make two kingdoms as well. Otherwise, they'll just split immediately, right? Nineveh gains lustful. Fine. Okay, that seems, that seems all right. Now our tax collectors is throughout zero. Okay, so I can just sack these guys then. Boom. Boom, there we go. Tax collector zero out of zero. We don't need any. Good, that solved that problem. Right. Because, of course, if we land elves, I presume they'll flip over to Ascended Tribal, our government type. Let's start giving some titles away. Oh, God, what have I done? Not going to vassalize anybody. I would never. I would never do that. We can negotiate alliances. Oh, my God, suddenly everybody wants to be our best friend. Let's marry you off to... Yeah, let's marry you off. Let's go for, for Elf uh, Miramis. 
First name matches Elf Moranis. There we are. Grand Wedding, of course. Unnecessary, but 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 I think in this situation, five bloodlines marrying five bloodlines is a great moment for Elven Kind. Expensive and unnecessary. We'll take it. Chris County, yes. Control gain up by 20%. That's fine. Let's swap our artifacts out before I forget again. Um, well, we're kind of stuck a little bit then until I can give away some... Some titles. I can't even grant it. I don't know if I, I showed this off. I, I, I can't even grant it to our... Um, a, a, a valid, you know, female religious character. Does not allow rulers to grant titles to women. Ooh. So, we're kind of stuck. Instead of your court chaplain. See one for your council if you don't have one. Yeah, whoa. Okay, uh, I, we could do a cultural reform. Seems a little roundabout way to be able to give titles away, huh? I'm just going to have to start granting things away that I didn't necessarily want to. Doesn't really matter too much. What if we make it county capital? Move county capital here. Yeah. What if we do that and then, we, then we're able to grant it away to Noble of Elven Culture? That is big brain time. It does work. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Right, so let's let's just do that then. Grant to um, Noble of Elven Culture. And then we can just make her the vassal of the guy I've given the duchy to. Ah, you see? I found a way around it. Boom. Just took a little bit of brain power for once. Right, what are you under? That's the, it's this one as well. So same thing for you. There you go. I, I bit the bullet and I made that guy the duke. Honestly, we're missing out on the barrel side. I'm a little bit annoyed by it. It doesn't matter too much. Okay, it was necessary evil to try and tidy things up there. I'm alright with that. I don't think it's too bad. Uh, oh, God, we're missing a good marshal, too. How are we missing a good marshal? Size of this round, we haven't got a good marshal. I swap Gallandor over, we lose a... We lose an insane Chancellor. I swap Halion over, we lose an insane Steward. We are still a very young realm, realistically. So we've got to, got to try and win this over. How are we doing in terms of... Shit, it's all the same character. All right, there's our marshal. Not exactly the best guy, but we'll, we'll maybe be able to find someone else. I can invite someone to court, perhaps. A trial of cunning. I'm just going to trust her. Rating is why she's going to choose priestess. Let's go queen. Uh, ah, how very appropriate for our first round. She's going to choose queen. I'll go king. That's okay, because that guarantees that we win there. I'm going to choose bandit. Let's go uh, noble. A little bit more of a gamble. She's going to choose queen. Um, there's no point playing. I mean, we've only got to win one more round, so we can give it a go. She's going to choose priestess. It's all going to come down to king. Yeah, there you go. Okay, what have you got? Whoa! Hello? What on earth have we found here? A shrine that radiates spark. You pick your head into what appears to be a destroyed chapel of some kind. Centered in the room stands a stone shrine. Its altar seems to radiate spark energy and you can feel it pulling you in. It looks like a gateway, doesn't it? Do you connect your spark with the shrine? Absolutely, I do. Oh, it's the jolly green giant. You know, it's as if by natural instinct you kneel before the shrine and reach out to the spark. The moment your tendril of energy can contact with the shrine, you feel a profound resonance. There is a flash of blinding light. A handsome, stoic elf male made of ethereal energy looks around the chapel, and then his imperious eyes fall on you. Oh, okay. Um, a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. Very good. I haven't felt my influence called upon the realm for an age. The grand portal of this realm must have been restored. You there, mortal. Are you this realm's realm lord? I am Tulkus Astaldo, High Valor of War. I shall offer you a bargain. If you promptly acknowledge me as your god with all you worship, I will grant you the greatest power in this realm. In return, I will gift your people with my blessing and restore natural order in the world. Alvin Culture gains the blessing of Tul Tul Tulkus Astaldo. People of this culture will give birth to six boys for every one girl. I mean, obviously, we can just adjust that. All elven characters gain three martial and minus three stewardship. Should we add him to the pantheon? Well, that's fun. All right, let's do it. Of course we will. He seems quite pleased about that. Can we marry him? Ooh, valor. Wow, learning 75, prowess 75, no prowess loss from age. Fertility, 40, minus 49%. Huge health boost, no inbreeding. I mean, that makes sense for gods, right? Spiritual projection. Can I have children? Can I do anything with him? Invite to court. He will accept. Yes, pay for his travel expenses. Beautiful. Um, can I do anything else? Befriend him. Yes, quickly. Is he going to be pruned before he comes to my court? Praise. He was. No. <laughs> you know I had to try and get a fast one past him there. No, I've received shocking news. Tolkus has passed away. I would never get to enjoy his friendship. Oh, well, that might have also stressed her to death. So, oh. Uh. God damn it, she watched a god die. Or at least that's how her, how her vision interpreted it. Oh, god damn you. No, I don't mean it quite so literally. Um, oh, okay. 
Truth is relative. Fabricate hook. Sure. Again, she's diligent and fickle. She'll pull on all the strings. It doesn't really matter too much. I wonder if I'd have tried that first, whether or not he'd been moved to court before that happened. Generational belligerence. Not that one. It's in like the warfare belligerence. Pursuit efficiency, 15%. Retreat loss is minus 15%. Cast as belly cost, minus 20%. That's good. Not really what we need. Uh, bright as diamonds, loud as thunder, never still a thing of wonder. Waterfall. And we've found... 25 more development for Baghdad. Could that be everything? A minor discovery. The fine blade of the Aloran. Domain taxes for the same fade up by 10%. Bloody hell, that's pretty good. Damn, there's so much more to these expeditions now in such a short time too. Amazing. Um, Elf Nabatum is heading off to join the order as one returns. Queen Elftar of Croatia. Good for her. Oh, damn it. I could, uh, just as I think the final event was popping up. We're heading home. Uh, clearly, we didn't find anything because it didn't flip to a holy site. Again, still looking for that all-important spark crystal, right? Wandering Amir. Should we jewel Amir? I can't click him to see his... It, it just literally will not let me click him to see how good he is. Hold on. Nope, won't let me. Um, of course, we'll fight him. Amir, you're breaking the card. 21 prowess versus 64. I'm about to crush this man. You know what your problem is, Amir? Absolutely chat shit. You try, a f co a try to copy a famous move from your favorite book. Good lord. She's paranoid, so she it would stress her out. Okay, let's not do it then. Just just fight what you know. Fight what you know. You can't even hit me. Uh, you know what your problem is, Amir? Don't do it. Just fight him now. It's the best you've got. You can't even hit me. Oh, God. These aren't going well, are they? Oh, no. Defeated in single combat. You'll rue the day you crossed it. We didn't have any good outcomes from there at all. Oh, but she's been cured, so that's quite nice. Thank you. We've interpreted the instructions, and we can now get home. We traveled for nearly a whole year. Bloody hell. More importantly, we've got that first level of adventurer trait now. Minus 25 to our army maintenance. Very nice. Oh, God. Now look at the plague coming up. Oh, God damn me. Do we have some sort of healthy, healthy place? Do we have a healthy house of healing? Nothing. Um, I might tear down the pastures then. Go for hospices instead. It's our capital. I feel like that's fairly important. So we'll take that instead. Thank you. Or maybe we just go on a pilgrimage. I'm pretty the last time we went by boat to a... Uh, oh, you become a witch. Very good. Last time we went by boat to a pilgrimage site, we didn't seem to get the bonus from it. Ooh, your pilgrimage becomes more pious. Absolutely. We're going to convert this lady. Very good. Conversion successful. That's what we like to do. Enduring a crisis of faith. Speaking of which then, uh, let's go for profit monthly piety per night. We, how much do we need? Was it like 5,000 for our next tier of ascension? 6,000 to become a grand fey lord. Wow. And it ascends your heir too, right? But this kid's only elf blood. I wonder if he's even allowed to ascend. Better minds, it, it, it ascended when we did it the first time. Uh, wives and primary heir. God, we just need to get that spark capacity, don't we? Um, yes, you can eat it. Because she's... Oh, paranoid. Yeah, go for a run. There you go. Good as new. Oh, no. This was fairly pointed out. We need to get inheritance, uh, inheritance instinct to be able to declare a successor. Of course, we're probably going to wait until grandchildren, of course. Oh, we're here. Oh, well, that was barely anything off the bat as well. How pathetic. Okay, well, let's see what we can do then. Um, stay behind. Plot against me. Not a chance. No, stick to the piousness. She doesn't gain any stress from following this pious route. So let's go for it. Sadly, once again, we got to one and a half. Pathetic. <laughs> Pathetic. But to be fair, won't take too many more pilgrimages. And, and with those, we can go as frequently as we want, right? Maybe because it's the piety from events that are building up rather than the distance. Maybe we just keep pilgrimages to their closest place to begin with to do them as fast as possible. Um, you would like to betroth your son to my antiquarian. Rather than that's my brother. Sure. All right. Yeah, why not? Sorry, why did she gain torture from uh, stress loss from torturing people? Have I misinterpreted her this much? Fearless planner. She's a fearless planner and a builder. This character is very rational. Yet you lose stress from torturing someone. Really? All right. I mean, if she loses stress, that's within the character. It's because she. It's his. Uh, it's uh, he's her rival. She listened to his screams for hours. Oh, good. Okay. She's not sadistic. She just wants to torture a rival because. They're rivals, apparently. Nilavelf came of age. She is a brilliant strategist. Good for her. And there we are. Home sweet home. We're immediately going to head back out again. Don't worry, because we want to get this ascension as soon as possible. Again, mainly to see if we can get those higher tiers of ascension later down the line. Let's move on. Uh, another pilgrimage, if you don't mind. We, we can, can we just do it immediately like that? I didn't know if it went on cooldown or anything. Um, we, can, we can pilgrimage to our 
Oh, because we're still traveling. Right, sorry, we're technically not back yet. There you are. Now we're back. And yeah, I thought we could go on a pilgrimage immediately again. Probably should go on another expedition, but that's all right. Let's just go immediately to our back garden. Is there even much... Is there much point bringing all these people? Run affected, more party, much more party. Okay, 300 gold. Let's see how much 300 gold translates to in terms of piety then. Oh, and our dynasty is a lot. Squire traditions. Master all lifestyle experience up by 10%. Well, that's good, given that we're studying that right now. Dynasty members are less likely to die, get wounded in battle. Have a higher chance of serving, uh, of gaining prowess serving as knights. Fine. Fair enough. Um, make my male more pious. Yes, please do. We're basically achieving the same level of piousness, despite the fact that we've gone to our garden. Ah, oh, there's all our stress. Can we get a little bit of level of stress on the way over here? 303. Okay. So half of what we had last time, but it was less than half of the cash and took us a third of the time. Not even that. Okay. Well, let's go immediately then to the closest places. Why not? I think the benefit to that as well is we're going to be able to go to the further pilgrimages that give the bigger benefits. Obviously, that, that more uh, starting piousness. Did I just spend 750 gold to hire that man? No, I didn't mean to do that. That was a misclick. No. Oh, for God's sake. Well, what's 750 gold when he makes 69 per month? The answer is about a year's worth of income. Yeah, you're right. A special rock. That's not just any rock. Pioneers used to ride those bad boys for miles. I'd be much more annoyed about that misclick if uh, we weren't making so much money. So that's okay. Um, anything for piety there? Nothing. No, we're not going to bring you home. I'm sorry. Uh, unless it's for piety. That's the only reason we're here is to try and ascend and become. Again, because she's diligent. It's her duty as, as, as elven queen to drag her family up through those higher tiers of, of ascension. It's been on 303 again. Not bad. We're almost there. Are we, are we within striking distance, though? Annoyingly, we are working towards Overseer, of course, because she's paranoid. So that makes sense. Paranoid and diligent, I think, is exactly the right Overseer combo. A little bit annoying. Okay. Um, part of my antiquarian. Yes, because we haven't got enough uh, uh, members anyway to be pissing around with. We're not going to be... Uh, we're not going to be vassalizing anyone else. I'm sorry. We can't do it. And apparently, I've got Mana Arms Regiment. Oh, and Station, because I had them in those other counties. Yeah, you're right. That's probably the biggest loss from landing that bloody kid. Would she become a gardener? I mean, she's diligent. The queen doing gardening. Ha. Huh. Um. No, I don't think she would. I think she was probably got her hands full with everything else she's doing already. What? What is this? I feel like, if nothing else today, it's been a lot of rail management and trudging around today, right? It hasn't been a much, a, a lot that's happened. I have, however, uh, had my eyes open to what sort of monster she is. The county of Nehawand is an unruly place of diverse beliefs in government. Each different community has its leaders, resulting in a complex web of hierarchy and leadership that cannot go on. They all pray to the divine spark in the proper and correct way and answer to the same leader. This will increase my influence. Aronis has stepped forward, aiming to become the county's new leader and will host a banquet where we will have all the local religious leaders slaughtered like cattle. Uh... It will convert them, though, instantly. And uh, she says, I can't wait to hear their screams. And she loses stress because she's paranoid. All right, then. Count Aranis, congrats. Ooh, trained for a tournament was an option. 24% chance we become strong. I'll do it. Come on. Trend is impressive. Increased Paris by one. Bollocks. Okay, I've got that master's special interest because for some reason it wasn't. We need to work off stress. I think we're going to sit here now, and we are going to wait. Oh, the Divine Spark's Blessing is only 588. Ah. I think the Ascension is more valuable. We're going to hold off. We're going to sit with it. The Legend is ready to be upgraded. Ah, hello. Okay. You get access to launch a legendary adventure decision. Oh, shit. Allowing you to abandon your realm and start a new life in a distant kingdom. Uh, I, I've, I, I know this one. Gain access to the Commission Legend Artifact decision. Okay. Well... 50% chance to gain access to legendary watchtower and we do gain access to legendary statue done There you go. Okay, cool. Do what do we need to increase it again? So we're a uh, hundred baronies so far. Really? Wow 16 legend promote uh, promoters Elf Poffis, Daniel Daniel Fakeson, what a legend Elra, Lendil, Thalion the Wolf Wow, Wrath of Tharthi of Nubi Elf. I mean, of course he would be spreading that legend because it was effectively a legend that he's tried to force to being built, right? Well, that's great news. Oh, good shit. I've got Byzantines in my garden sieging my territory. Man at arms counter efficiency, 15%. Listen, I didn't really care about my allies' war up until this moment. But the fact that they're in my domain now sieging is not acceptable. Um, 
Sorry. Wrath of Tharpy is not the son of my brother-in-law, but Elrond. Okay, everybody's inbred. Yes, okay. Uh, the grass is green and the sky is blue. What else do you want to know? Is that really that much of a shocker? Get out. How dare you try and siege my territory? There. You're very welcome. I don't think we got anything from that, unfortunately. Uh, oh, we did. Uh, 394 gold and 36 opinion with him, too. Oh, you're very welcome. Oh, sorry, did I say gold? You know I didn't mean gold. Listen, I've, I've been frazzled today. Okay, my brain is all over the place. Commander would be good. Controlled supplies. Army gold maintenance down by 15%. Ooh. In theory, that should affect our prestige, right? So we'll definitely be going for that one. I'd love to go on that pilgrimage. We can't afford it quite yet, but we're almost there. We're making, look, we're making 60 gold per month, okay? Bear with. The next pilgrimage only cost us 800 gold, so off we go. Who am I to interfere with higher matters? No way. No, we're, we're a hard worker. You are staying with us on this pilgrimage, my friend. Do want to grow up in round capital? Yeah, that seems pretty good. Why not? I think this round capital is going to serve for... Quite some time as a, as a stronghold, a bastion of a new elven realm. So I like that. Uh, buy this kid some new shoes or this man some new shoes. Uh, it's 50 piety. Go on then. I mean, what's uh, money for piety? That's what the whole point of these pilgrimages, right? So why not? Only level one piousness again. 404. We're almost there. Oh my god, we're so close. Um, my vassal. It's an absolute shame that such precious treasures such as your magnificent ornamental coffer at life forgotten and abandoned to dust. Please allow me to pay for its restoration in exchange for a favor. Okay, sure. I mean, she likes us anyway, so I don't really care about that. <gasps> 50 more piety. We're almost there. It's almost time for ascension, my god. Today has been all about... Oh, she's going to become a hunter. Yeah, that seems fun. Today has been all about bringing orders to the chaos, converting the realm, expanding our borders, landing characters, even though that was a bit of a struggle. But... We're pretty much to the point now where... Ooh. Okay, she's paranoid. She wants to know her future. Good omens. That's good. Tell them what you want to hear. It's good for business. W but but today, I mean, to get the ascension, I'm, I'm actually quite surprised. Oh my god, I can't afford that. Yeah, we'll take that one then. And, and we're there. 6,000. My god, I didn't expect that is my point. I'll fight my way out of this. Absolutely. You've defeated the angry mob. Well done. Holy shit. I didn't expect we'd be able to ascend. I thought it was just going to be... Tidying up this new realm that we very quickly conquered. Elf Miramis. Ah, uh, ambitious. Oh, you know I love to see ambitious in a character. Oh, you know I love to see ambitious in a character. It's the best trait to have for, for role-playing purposes, right? Available perks. Uh, we are almost to Overseer. Absolute control, of course, is going to be incredible. Betrothed can marry. Sure, there you go. Enjoy. Goodbye. And then finally, the Ritual of Ascension. You have lost the trait. High Elf. We have become... True elf. Amazing. I have become more Hazar. Only her, though, unfortunately, unless we can find one of those um, spark capacitors. Same, I, same I can't just, like, Google it. Uh, as, in Google, as in search. You know what I mean. As in, like, type it in and um, pull it up here. But I couldn't see any last time I looked through pretty much the entire list, unfortunately. And there are, of course... Oh, God, so many artifacts is actually breaking the game. Good Lord. <laughs> There's so many. There are so many. Oh, 6,000 artifacts. So I'm not going to scroll through all of them. Uh, relic? Does that count? Hmm. Okay, I mean, I could have a look through and just see if we can find one again. Because if we could, the benefit would be just insane, wouldn't it? It's all bejeweled tomes from top to bottom. But that, as far as I'm concerned, is that we are a true elf. Somebody did link me another interface mod that in theory should let us see all of our traits, so I'll definitely get that set up for next time. I've got a couple of other mods on the back burner I want to have a look at, and I'll throw in. Now that we've got a bit of peace and a bit of uh, a bit of calmness, look at that. 1,000 renown per month. Uh, surely we can't be far off of getting... Wow, we've got six Dynasty Legacies left to go, and then we've got everything unlocked. I I've never seen that before. I didn't even consider it could ever be possible. And I suppose maybe in normal circumstances, it surely wouldn't be. Duchy of Kurdistan. Oh, that's good. Okay, who's up here that would like that title? I think there's already a duke, though. That's the problem. Yeah. Um, well, that complicates things. Can I give it to you? Would you like to be the... You can be the duke. Oh, good. Duchess Celestia. Hey, that's nice. An unexpected victory. I think I'm going to need to do a lot of editing today because I realized OBS was very much not doing correct things <laughs> midway through the episode. So apologies if this episode is a bit of a mess, but I'll see what I can redeem about it. Thank you, too, of course. Our executive producer patrons rely on me to uh, do it everything, every, everything that I do here today. Sorry, I've been very brain frazzled all day. Lots of real life stuff going on. One very unwell dog that I'm having to trips back and forth to the vets every single day with. I don't drive. It's a long walk, okay? It's a massive pain in the ass. Uh, and we have to push her in this stupid fucking dog pram. 
because she's not allowed to walk anywhere because she's just had a major surgery. It's an enormous pain in the ass. So thank you for bearing with me. Thank you to Tristan Flanagan, Conrad Mazinski, Vegetal Pulp, <laughs> Shadow1317, Paul Hoffman, Evan Crocker, Bloodsnakes, Chaos, A Pine Tree, Beta Soldier, Loki Fellas, I Love You Too Much, Unjingo, MGS to Tech Sound, Captain Tess, Dr. Annie, Ghost Talk, The Cattery, Bluffocus666, I Am Sagatair, Heathen, Kemp McCullough, JQ Fish, Emiria, Anthony Fackenthal, Logan Bissett, and Sergeant Nero for their support. The executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you for joining me today. It's much appreciated. Thank you for bearing with me while I uh, try and reclaim what's left of my brain. And a thank you to A, Caden Kai Malloy, Fair Fight Frank, November, King Luffy Link 3, Romario, Decrepit, Stormcrower, Wolfie, Nylanthria, Becky, Zealoth, Lieutenant Smokin, Lassero, Red Nebula, Glass Event, Mithridates, Stephen Collars, Jackson, and Salty Walnut as well. See you all tomorrow. Let's try to see what's above true elf at long last.